Okay, so a confession. I don't have any news yet on my investigation into Havendale, but it's 2 a.m. and I've been cramming for a test all night. I think I'll be able to stay awake if I just get out of the storm room and away from my comfy bed. There's nowhere to go except the laundry room. I may as well do my laundry since there's no way I'm sleeping tonight. It's all the way down in the basement. I'm going to take you with me and maybe I'll be less freaked out along the way. Sometimes it feels like this elevator is one step away from a breakdown. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that one out loud. Oh good, the light's already on in the laundry room. I, I'm probably not the only one who had this idea. Hey Jade! Poppy? <laughs> it scared me. What's up? You can't sleep either? Not quite. Cramming for the stats exam tomorrow. Figured I'd come down here to keep myself awake while I try to memorize this stuff. Multitasking. I hear you on that. I got into the habit of doing my laundry at weird hours because that way I never have to leave for a machine. Um, are you recording me? Oh, sorry. Oh, I've gotten into the habit of taking this thing everywhere. I'm making a podcast for the dorm anniversary that's coming up. Is that machine next to yours free? <laughs> Definitely. There's been no one down here since I started the wash an hour ago. Machine's all yours. What are you humming? I've, I've heard that somewhere before. That's creepy. What is it? <laughs> I don't really know. I, I, I heard it the other night after someone was banging on my door super late. It's like some kind of old Irish folk song, I think. Yeah, about someone named Molly, right? I definitely heard it before. I, I, I think it was that time I got lost on the 13th floor. That's why it like, creeps me out. Whoa, what? You actually went to the 13th floor? I don't get it. I, I thought they keep the whole floor vacant and, and they lock all the doors. The elevator won't even open there. I know, because I've tried. Back in first semester, I was hooking up with a girl on the 12th. She was being weird about it, so instead of using the elevator, I took the stairs up to her floor, just spaced out. Lost track, I guess. Anyway, the door from the stairwell wasn't locked, and when I opened it, I knew I was in the wrong place. There's basically nothing there, and it was colder, dead silent. I took like a few steps inside just out of curiosity and I heard that song. The one you were just humming. I, I just froze. Started getting louder and I heard footsteps and I finally turned back and just bolted down the stairs to 12. <laughs> no desire to go up there again. Thank you very much. This is blowing my mind. I definitely need to check it out. Whatever floats your boat. But if you do go up there, I recommend going in daytime at least. <laughs> Sold. Listen, I'm gonna head to the bathroom real quick. Is it cool if I leave my stuff here for a sec? Yeah, of course. Finally, dry time. What? Jade? Jade! Oh my god, no. Help! Someone! No, 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 no. There's blood everywhere. How, how did this happen? Jade! I can feel her pulse. She's out cold. Jade! Please, oh god, please. Please wake up. Oh. Uh, uh. 
I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank God you're okay. It looks really painful though. The cut on your forehead. What happened? Don't don't get up yet. Rest for a bit. Rest. I don't know what that was. When you left, the room was empty. I went to move my clothes from the washer to the dryer. I was bending over. I don't know. It felt like someone kicked me. But no one was here. I was gonna call for you, but then he, it, pushed me hard from behind. I was bent over. I must have slammed my head. I'm so dizzy. What was that? Do you believe me? I must sound crazy. I must. Of course I do. But please don't get up, Jade. Let me call the RA. Let me get someone down here who can help us. Just don't. Leave. Please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to turn this thing off so I can make the call.